Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we refactored our view partials. In this lecture, we will work on deleting the resource as turbo stream. Right now, if you click on the delete link, this will take you to the show action of the users controller. So click a uh, delete link. Okay. And you can see that this take you to the show action of the users controller and you can verify this on the terminal. Okay like show as HTML, but we are getting this error. Why? Because we now changed our show.html.erb to show.turbostream.erb. Okay. But uh, this is not the concern. What we need to do that when we click on the delete link, it must delete the selected user from the database. Now let's see the syntax of this delete link. So switch to the terminal, sorry, switch to the project directory and into the user partial, you can see, go open the app use users and in the user partial you will see that what we did delete link to delete user method delete and then data confirm are you sure you want to delete this user and then class okay this syntax is totally fine and was ex working as expected till rails 6.x but since rails is 7 rails is using the turbo stream by default so now we need to change the way of writing this delete link by a bit okay so how we can do this now so we need to remove this data method delete and data confirm okay instead we need to use data and then rather than only using the method we need to use turbo method data turbo method and this should be delete and then rather than using simple confirm we need to use data turbo confirm so we need to use Turbo confirm and then we can add message like uh, are you sure you want to leave this user okay, and then save it now if you refresh the page you will see these attributes into the delete link okay so refresh the page and right click on the delete link and inspect this and in the inspect you can see that data turbo method delete and data turbo confirm are you sure you want to delete this user okay and when you click on this delete link now you will see a confirmation dialog okay so here you can see when we clicked on de for deleting a user we can see are you sure you want to delete this user now before submitting this request make some space into the terminal and when you click on the ok you will see that the user has been destroyed successfully from the database and here you can see into the terminal that destroy as turbo stream we are receiving this destroy link as turbo stream format but we are still redirecting to the index page of the user so we need to change the way of redirecting or the way of removing the user using turbo stream so here you can see what we need to change here format to turbo stream so we will not use that why because right now our format is turbo stream so what we can do format dot Turbo stream okay and then we need to remove the selected user or the user which we deleted from the database okay so we need to remove the user row from the users index table okay so how we can do that so here you need to do render and then turbo stream and then you need to use turbo stream dot remove turbo stream dot remove and here how we can remove that so in the update you can see that what we did uh, why when we successfully updated a user that we are using turbo stream dot replace then user row underscore user dot id so to get delete the same row from the so we need to get just to pass this uh, dom id to this turbo stream dot remove method okay paste it here and now save here you need to notice one thing that when you use turbo stream dot remove method then just add the element dom id which you want to remove no need to render partial or passing any locals okay so we are done with the turbo stream handling here save this and switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now when you click on the delete link you will see that uh, the row has been removed automatically and the page is not redirected anymore okay it means we handled the delete request using turbo stream and that's all for this lecture try this lecture at your end and let me know if you need any help through the comment section okay and at this point we completed our crud operations or all the crud operation for the users controller 
using turbo stream okay and uh, now we will move into the next lecture with another important topic in to this course or in this mini series okay stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe